Animusha was one of the first games released on the PS2, and I actually bought this fucker. Game graphically reminds me of Resident Evil, except with a sword. It used these images as the background from which you walked around, and to be honest, this game aged like Methuselah. It's ugly. I must note I had some emulator issues with this one, nothing major though, and nothing that can redeem its graphics in any way. Character animations were okay, but the camera controls were like giving a kid a camera in a demolition derby and telling him to keep the camera pointed at you. Just wasn't happening. The camera was fixed and it kind of felt like it was fixed at everything you didn't want it to be fixed at. The sound in the game didn't fare that much better either. Ambient background noise was looped, and its reset was very noticeable. Voice acting was like having Sean Connery play a Japanese samurai in a 70s ninja movie. It was just done horribly, and it would have been better for them to leave the Japanese voiceovers in there just for the North American release. It was that bad. you would come to save me. Gameplay is absolutely awful. When you're not struggling mentally with the camera, your controls make you feel like you're a recovering stroke patient. You'll be solving puzzles you don't want to be, and health is a quantity they left hard to get. Every hit you take can completely drain your health bar, which makes for a dreadful game. The game lacks the basics to be remotely fun. You will not enjoy this one. It just didn't age well. One of its only plus sides is the game is distinctive. It took Resident Evil's gameplay and tried to add swords and demons to it, but, for lack of better words, simply failed on all fronts. What's odd about this review and, and this game is that when I was younger I finished this game. Yup, I played it beginning to end. I do remember it being hard, but not this fucking hard. I guess developers of today's games have really toned down games like these. reason I could use as to why I finished this game is that I had no money back in the day and had few games. So it was like, play this game or ATV Off-Road Fury, which was the other title I bought at launch. Anyways, the game's best left as a memory, and this is DTR Fuck Knobs. Communicate laters. Oh.